look at that this looks really good i did it i got an every single emblem possible on two characters because there are some difference between male and female characters in terms of what emblems they can get but i did it and if you're wondering what these three emblems are about um i don't think it's possible to get them at least for me because those emblems are multiplayer exclusive i think in one of them you need to participate in a link battle one of them you need to survive a link battle with zero damage taken and another one you need to kill someone in a link battle or was it win a link battle something like that i think with the three emblems that elos and lesley are missing a tree that i just can't get i considered and cheating like using cheat codes to get it but as far as i could tell there are no cheat codes to get emblems it could be that i missed a cheat code here or there but yeah so now the only thing thing that's left to do i also completed all the quest mode by the way quest mode stuff by the way so now the only things that's left to do is turn them neutral again it's not important but i want them to be neutral instead of lawful so iron of chaos uh let's have lassi go first because i'm okay with elos being lawful instead of neutral i did lassi first because just in case i run out of arms of chaos Chaos I, Chaos S. I think Chaos S is the proper plural for that. Anyway, heading to Charadrias. Charadrias. I probably can turn my brain off in this next mission because my team is super over leveled and I don't think I need to worry about anything. Let's go. Put it out. Charadrias. This seems to be where the light was pointing. Is this frozen lake where the fallen angel has been sealed? If the legend is true, fragment of the sacred spear, show me the way. I finally caught up with you. Table. I learned that the word longicolness originally meant long horn. A black horn is more fitting than a beautiful halo for a fallen angel. He's an angel who's been stained black with sin, an angel that fell from heaven and was sealed here by God. His name is Shahar. He is an archangel who fought for humans in the ogre battle. the ogre battle I so i'm not super up to date with tactics ogre lore i have played let us cling together and night of lotus which to my knowledge are the only two tactics ogre games but there is also person of lordly caliber and march of the black queen which are diff very different gameplay wise and they're similar to RTS games rather than SRPGs and RTS games never really interested me that much so i kind of didn't play them so yeah i didn't seek them out either but yeah you've seen the light oh right i lost my train of thought i was saying that at I'm not caught up on my tactics sogar lore but I don't think we've ever learned anything about what the hell the ogre battle was right Am I wrong here did did we get some more lore on what the ogre battle actually was in any of those games I know we didn't get any from let us click together at least none that I can remember and I know we didn't get any from night of lotus 
Night of Lord is being the game I am more familiar with. So, yeah, it's weird. You've seen the light, the fragment emits, right? The fragment is a missing piece of the sacred sphere. Hold on for a sec. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. Char was manipulating Neri so that he can be resurrected. I can't let that monster do as he pleases. Sybil, please help us. With you on our side. Uh, Sybil, why? I'm sorry to betray you, but I just can't trust you. Why? Have you distrusted me from the beginning? Alphonse, there's too much that's important to you. I can't trust someone like that. You'll sacrifice everything for your ideals. Do you understand? I can't go with you. Now why don't you give me this PR fragment? Don't worry. If it's treated right away, you won't die. Forget about all of this. Go back to your hometown and start a new life with your loved one. Indeed, he cannot be trusted. He has forgotten that you saved his life. He realizes not he realizes not that it was you who made everything possible. I paused just so I could read everything because this auto scrolls. And because of his friend's influence, he has kept you at arm's length. Who is that? Stop! That's not true. You knew from the beginning that Richter distrusted this woman. And now you have started to doubt her too. You never expected much out of your relationship with her. That is why you saved your old friend. You listened to him and earned his trust. Which means you have chosen to put your faith in him rather than in her. You're wrong. That's not... Woman, you are no fool. You see how it is, right? A loved one that he protects. A friendship that has endured many hardships. And comrades that have fought at his side. What more does he need? You are of no use to him. I... Poor woman. I will grant your wish in exchange for the emptiness in your heart. You and I will bring destruction and chaos to this world. Woman, what is it that you wish for? My life is in your hands. I want him dead forever. No, Alphonse! Don't interfere. There's nothing you can do. But why, Sibyl? I... Alphonse, if you die here, you'll be mine forever. No. Did... Wait. Did Saibil actually have feelings for Alphonse? I am Shahar. I dwell in the darkness of the heart, projecting illusions from within. A contract has been made with this woman. I will fulfill my promise. I have been searching for the black fragment of longicolness, which has broken away from my body. Part of your body? Yeah, the Satan Spear was made out of basically Tactics Ogre Satan's horn. With the power of this spear, I will be resurrected. I should thank you. You saved me the trouble of bringing it here. For that, I will make a toast with your blood. Honestly, not sure what to make of what just happened. Did Saibil actually have feelings for Alphonse? Either way, it matters not. We will kick her ass. I'm just gonna look at their equipment just because. Oh. You have a Natha Lork mail. I hope I can. I hope you drop that or the needle of light. I'll take either. You have pretty shitty equipment. So do you. You have pretty amazing equipment. You have armlet of agility. Pathetic. You have an Euros. And you have a pike and a leviathan male. Now those armors though, I wouldn't mind having a few of those for myself actually. I am going to put Ivana here. You 
you here, you go here, and no, Eleanor here, you here. Victor can go there. Let's see over here and Elos over here. Yes, let's go. Saibin, are you saying you did this by choice? How could you? Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Torceress, an elite spellcaster more powerful than other spell users who draws on the power of evil spirits. They have the ability to use all elemental spells as well as high level bane spells, weapon fan. So here I'll tell you something. If you know that I chose route B, right? Back, if you remember, back in Urodella, I chose one option. I don't remember what the options were, but I chose an option and that led me to recruiting Orson and later Richter. If I had chosen the other path, then I would not have gone to Sufrid, I think I would have gone to Erina through Bison, I think that place is called. And I would end up recruiting Shivan and later Saibil. Saibil would join at around the same point Richter does. And that's how you have access to a, a non-lich that can use Finn's grip. So that's one way you can that's one way you can use the Fiend's Grip spell without needing a Ring of the Dead. Oh, I should confirm something. I also managed to get this on Lassie and it was a very stupid thing. Because at first I thought if I fed Lassie a lot of strength boosting items, sword emblems, I would be able to get closer, quicker to 350 strength especially by switching to knight and gating a few knight levels that did not end up happening after using up like 20 something in sword emblems lassie still had higher agility than strength and then i used all my 50 uh, swiftness stones so lassie is cracked right now because i gave her nearly every single stat boosting items do i have any more stat boosting items so probably use up these cups of lives on someone. Eleanor and Taya seem not Saya Eleanor seems like a good option for that. Anyway. Let's go. Emana is really fast for some reason. Oh I gave no, I didn't. I gave some crowns of intellect to Eleanor, I think, or was it Flauros? I don't remember exactly who I gave my extra crowns of intellect to. Anyway, I am going to shuriken this Angel Knight. And look at that, my shuriken does 33 fucking damage. I don't know if shuriken scales off of strength, intelligence, or agility. But Lassie is cracked in all three, so it doesn't really matter. Also, Alphonse is poisoned, but I'll heal him quickly enough with Richter. By the power of friendship and a casting of the cleanse spell, as soon as I get proper mana for it. Enemy phase. Alright, come closer. I am going to absolutely destroy all of you. Oh, attacking Lassie? Your funeral. Twack. I should probably be bunched up a bit more just to avoid Thunderbird from Cybill because I think Cybill would be more likely to spam summon spells rather than using like Thunder Flare or some shit. 
and there is another wizard that can use thunder flare or aoe spells i'm not sure if they know thunder flare specifically but i don't think i have to worry about that too much especially when i have victor healing all right why why saibin get a hold of yourself you are too late your voice is just a memory to her it is sad really Humans so rarely understand each other's feelings. Yeah, I think Cybil actually had feelings for Alphonse, but she felt betrayed when she saw Alphonse taking a liking to Eleanor, her working so hard to save Victor and earn back his trust, and being driven to fight her for his own reasons. not for not because someone else told him that's the right thing to do because alphonse himself in this path not in the other path in this path this version of alphonse finally learned to take decisions on his own and he's decided that shahar cannot be left he cannot be left to be resurrected and the longhorn cannot be left to fall in the wrong hands out anyway Victor use the power of friendship Victor gained a lot of levels too back when i was trying to get the last few emblems on lassie and alos with how cracked my main team is i'm starting to wonder if i should just go in the next time the game decides to split me up instead of splitting into two teams i wonder if i should just go four and four whack anyway the reason i did that is so saya can get a little extra experience whack oh I want Sire to be a holy demon. Now I wanna go straight ahead. More opportunities for you there. Quack. and you're dead and now you will be too because i am a dragoon with the power of clarus i a snap dragon sword probably should not kill that dragon this turn because then His item drop might get stolen. I'll send here. Now please don't steal that item, please. Yes, I said please twice because I'm really that desperate to not have that item stolen. Quack. Oh, would you look at that? The perfect setup. Oh. Yeah. Fire storm. Okay, I got the needle of light. A good weapon. Die. Die. And that little animation the dragon does, that's why I made 
Ooh, finally got the time flux. I am gonna use the shit out of that. Yeah, that little animation is why I made Alphonse a dragoon. Be gone, foul demon! Oh, I should probably kill this angel. Lattices, go. This will kill. Instead of doing that, I'm going to have Eleanor attack first. I think between Eleanor and Lassie and Saya, this demon is as good as dead. One thirty-four. How much damage do you do? One seventy. Okay. And what about you? Ninety-eight. Okay, I'm just going to kill you and take your shit. So here, in people. Oh, nightmare because in people is not in range. Get slept, loser! And I got the Leviathan mail. Oh, you woke up. And you summon darkness. That's fine. I'll kill anyone you summon. I am so over leveled, it's not even funny. Move away. Heal plus. Let my turn to dominate. And the player? Picked up a sword emblem. Okay. Move here. Firestorm. Wow, this firestorm will do a shit ton of damage. One more hit should pour a kill. I build. So yeah, I've basically won already at this point. I am going to take this. So I think I can talk about something else while I finish up this. Recently I saw a video, well I say recently, it was like maybe two or three months ago. I saw a video we talked about a lot on YouTube on plagiarism by H Bombar guy, a YouTuber, a pretty popular YouTuber and for full context, H Bombar guy to me is one of those YouTubers who I don't really watch very much mostly because I am not quite interested in their content. I am aware of them though because I sometimes get recommended randomly their videos. So from there I think I watched like one video from him like two three years ago. So that's my extent of experience with that guy. and. Yeah, don't really know him that well. What kind? Of, I think he makes video essays mostly. So yeah, the reason I bring this up is because I heard a lot of people talking about a video, and I was like, "Huh, weird." A video on plagiarism by H Bomber guy. Everyone's talking about it. I let me go see what it's about, and it's five hours long. So I ended up not watching it. 
I watched bits and pieces of it, but I didn't end up watching the whole thing. I think I watched like 30 minutes of it or something out of the two hour video. Sorry, two hour, five hour video. And this is why I bring it up. Like, I don't know enough about the YouTubers that he talked about. I watch internet historian a lot, but that and I did used to watch Cinemassacre. Those were two YouTubers he brought up. But other than that, I don't really know anyone else he brought up in that video. And well, I'm gonna get a cutscene soon and then ooh, Nathal Orc mail. I got it. I got what I wanted. So I'm probably going to stop playing for a bit to finish what I was saying and then I'll continue playing because then a cutscene's coming. So like I was saying, and I don't know enough about plagiarism and how it works and stuff like that to hmm, dispute anything he says or yeah I'm going to pause the emulation so that the text doesn't scroll away while I'm talking away so I am not smart enough to like debunk anything or pick apart his video nor do I think I should try or am qualified like if I if I won't watch the whole video I don't think it's a good idea to like criticize the video if I don't watch it and this isn't what I'm talking about. This isn't criticism, by the way. This is just something weird I experienced while watching it. It was that, that like, I don't really disagree or dispute anything he says in that video. Like, I am pretty neutral about everything he says. I don't know well, how, I don't know, good or bad or whatever it is. But I can understand, I can agree on one thing, it's not a good idea to copy other people's stuff. Plagiarism is not a good thing in general. What I mean that I don't know, can dispute is like, I don't really know the exact definition of what constitutes fair use and what is a ripoff and plagiarism. I'm not really sure about that. So again, I don't know uh, how far our plagiarism covers a lot of stuff you see on YouTube. Uh, I hope I'm making sense. But anyway, to cut to the point, I don't know what it was about this video, but it just seemed off to me. Like, I don't really, I didn't really find anything wrong with it or there wasn't anything that, that immediately stood out to me as, hey, this is not right or this is wrong or nothing like that. To me, it seemed like it, it was okay, I guess. Yes, I don't know enough to dive deep into it, but from what he was saying, things did seem to kind of make sense to me. But again, I just couldn't shake off this weird, this doesn't feel right feeling. Like, it, the video rubbed me the wrong way and I have no idea why. It's like... I don't know if any of you guys have experienced it before in your life. I know I have multiple times in the past. Like, I meet someone new, not everyone, like one, uh, once in a blue moon, I sometimes meet a new person and I'm like, hi, I'm Luke, nice to meet you. Oh, you're Patrick. Hey, hey glad to meet you. Uh, and the other guy didn't do anything wrong, do anything weird, do anything unreasonable to warrant it, but from the moment I meet that other person, I'm like, like, okay, for whatever reason, my brain is telling me something is off about this guy. But again, that's just a weird sixth sense type of thing. I don't have any reason. And every time that happens, I shake it off like, like, whatever, I'll ignore it because he hasn't really done anything to warrant me being rude to him or anything. So uh, it's probably nothing. I usually brush it aside. This is the first time I got that same feeling from a video and I have no idea why. <laughs> that's, just the, that's just why I brought it up because it was a weird feeling. Again, and I don't think, I don't know if there was anything wrong in the video. There was nothing that I was smart enough to find out anyway. 
so as far as I can tell it was okay but yeah I just could not shake the feeling of why is this video rubbing me the wrong way I don't know why was it because they mentioned a few youtubers that I regularly watch it could be like again this is not even a criticism of the video this is just very subjective and vague feelings so yeah I don't know what to think about that it was just weird and I wanted to talk about it with that tangent out of the way let's continue with the cutscene this heart denies me submit to me return what is rightfully mine You can't control me. Saibil. Such foolishness. Worthless human, if you had only accepted me, you would have gained immortality and unimaginable power and end to suffering. I am not bound by the laws of this world. Try as you might. You cannot even scratch me. Oh, I have four elemental swords that say otherwise. Who are you? Let us say that I am not far from God. Son of man, I have a task for you. My body is still bound by an ancient seal. Take the black fragment to the north and break the seal. That bars my access to this world. Are you mad? Do you think I'd ever do that for you? Why not? Oh no, I skipped something. I can grant what you desire. Fuck. You know what? I have something I want you guys to do. When this video goes up, just pause and go back frame by frame and read it. I'm going to read it myself for added context. Otherwise, just look up someone else's let's play. I can grant what you desire. Most men die without seeing their dreams realized. Is there a reason to deny your fate? You shall be freed from that prison you call a body. Whatever you desire shall be yours, and what is lost will be regained. I will be waiting for you. Saibil, I'm sorry. It's too late. What's done is done. We can't go back and change it. Alphonse, don't blame yourself. I'm the one who allowed my mind to be possessed. No, you were... Don't say anything. I wanted to trust you, but some things are so hard for me to accept. There's nothing I can do about it. Shivan. I'll take care of her. Please continue on your own. Shivan, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Mistress Alinda. I'll always be there for you. I hate myself. Even though I love you, I still don't trust you. My mind is not that simple. Yeah, I was right. Well, I guess the game made it obvious, so. Alphonse, please take good care of Eleanor. I will. We are going to see some loadout upgrades, boys and girls. We have the best spear in the game. I feel the power. Longicalness. Saibil, I must go, but I promise to return. There's no telling what lies ahead. It will probably be more than any of us can fathom, but I can sense it. There's someone waiting for us. He and the Sacred Spear are calling for each other. Let's go everyone. We've come this far. Let's see it through to the end. And I will show you that the horrors that lie beyond are very much comprehensible and are very much susceptible to being stabbed to death by my weapons. Yeah, I stole that comment from someone, someone else on a different video. It was on a comment it was the comment was on a video uh, on a track 
from World of Horror. Yeah, I remember now. So before I end the episode, which is pretty short by Night of Lotus standards, let me do the upgrades. First of all, get rid of the dragon armor. And oh, before I do that, swap port by category for easier navigation. There, the Nathal Orc mail. Give. Do I even need to give Ivana that? Who else needs something like that? You do. You don't. And you do. You know what, Ivana? You have an art shield. Keep the dragon mail. Oh, I have a Leviathan mail too, don't I? Hmm. Lastly, take the Leviathan mail. How good is the candy armor actually? It's actually one tier below the Natal Orc mail. Interesting. Oh. Victor is going to get a different upgrade. Then the needle of light. Is the euro better than the bloody cleaver? I should check. It is not. It is definitely not. Why don't you take the Nathal Orc mail? I have a plan for this. Ivana, take the Phoenix mail. And you can take the Dragon armor. Or the heavy armor, I guess. Okay, the heavy armor is actually better. So, yeah, take the heavy armor. Wonder. Yeah, the heavy armor is not as good as the candy armor. But the dragon armor is better than the candy armor, apparently. Weird. So I guess you get the candy armor. No wait. What? Hold on. 24 physical. This is 30 physical. A 39 physical. I see. I see now. So between the heavy dragon and the candy armor, the candy armor is the weakest. Gotcha. I should give some of the better armors to these guys. No? Yeah. Alright, let's equip everyone with heavy plate armor. Starting with you. Plate mail. Candy armor. I said candy armor. Oops. Equip this. Oh, I I have an extra Freud helmet and a dragon helmet. I did not notice that. Really? Cool. In that case, take this helmet. Freud. I think it's Freud helmet, not Freud helmet. Freud helmet. Yeah. Who should get a dragon helmet? Probably you. Hmm. 
you should get this and if I can give you anything better I will looks like I can give you flame leather do I have anything better plate mail I have an extra plate mail here wear this all right I can give you the Oration now it's pretty weird to equip Deneb with this kind of equipment but anyway since no one else can use it take time flux I think ladies and gentlemen I think I'm ready oh almost forgot the best spear in the game longicalness Black Spear, created from the Horn of the Fallen Engine. It can pierce the skin of the Sacred Demon. So yeah, you need at least one guy with the longicalness in your final party. Because if you don't, I don't think you can beat the final boss. Don't quote me on that. I. This is what I remember. And you can get the Zyphras. And we have Angel Headstone. Where the Fallen Angel was sealed. Location unknown. And that is going to be the location for the final battle. But don't worry, we still have 4 episodes to go I think. Because this location is much like Castle Astoria. Where I'm going to skip this because I'm going to read it in the next episode. I just want to show you because this is a multi-section, multi-map area I guess you can say. But we'll tackle it in the next episode. For now guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment and or subscribe. Dislike it if you hated it. I'll hide your comment to let you know about them. So just because I added your comment, doesn't mean I agree with it or endorse it. I'm Zulkaris and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.